Okay, well, this is part two um, of uh, what's going to be a series of that's going to ultimately culminate in some uh, core data database production. Um, but for right now, we're just looking at some data we're pulling in from the web. That's what I did in the first part, right? And but we didn't have a nice means for displaying it, so we're going to do that. We're going to display our data that we're bringing in from uh, this text file that is on sits on a web server, and we're going to display it in a table. Okay, and so I'm going to go to the storyboard, and in the main storyboard, I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is change this um, so we're no longer using auto layout and class sizes. So I'm going to uncheck this. It disables size classes. And this just allows us to have a, a more natural looking layout. And I'm going to put in table view here. So just put in table. And we're going to drag this table view over. I'll put it near the top here. Drag and make it up. Oh, drag the corner here. So it's a decent size. And I'm going to give us a table view cell. I'm going to drag that on here as well. And I'm going to make that a um, right detail. Okay. And what we're going to do is display the, the city name and then the, um, um, the amount of precipitation per year, right, uh, is the data we're going to display. And so to do that, there's a few little things we want to do. Um, one thing that we want to do is we want to give the cell a name um, in this identifier, and I'm just going to call it cell. And then we want to make um, a delegate and data source for our uh, table here. And we do that by dragging up to here. I'm going to say data source. Drag up again. We'll say delegate. Okay. Um, and we can just make sure that worked by looking over here. And so the last thing I want to do with this table is create an outlet. So I'm going to just create some space up here. I'm holding down the control key, by the way, and dragging over. And I'm going to call this table view, capital V. And there we go. So that's, I think, everything that we'll need to do in the... Um, storyboard so now we can go into our view controller once again and I have some code here um, from my project that I tested out to make sure this is gonna work for you guys oh. and one of the things I have is I'm creating these um, two arrays that we're going to use we're not going to abandon this um, multi-dimensional array or dictionary here but we're just going to use these for the purposes of showing you how we can do this easily and quick quickly and so I have one called city value that is of type string and another called inches value that is also of type string because everything comes in from the web as strings so we'll save it as such um, and then we're going to add a few lines um, right in here where we have this printing out the value I'm going to show you we're going to Grab this code here that's going to append our arrays. So we're adding to our city value and our inches value. Now I went and looked and made sure we had the right spots here because remember it's zero based array. So this column here is uh, zero. And then so column one is the city name. So uh, that would be right here. It's actually city and state, but that's fine, we're just calling it city value. And then the uh, third column, which is actually column two, because it's zero, one, two, uh, is the inches. So that's why I'm saving value two to the inches, okay? Just wanted to make sure that was clear. Um, all right, so next thing I want to do is, so anytime we have a table, we need to have our table delegate methods. Um, I'm going to grab them from here. Uh, there's there's a bunch of them, but the three that you have to have are these three here. One's called number of selections in table view, um, then uh, number of rows, and that's going to be based off of our array, 
um, it could be based off of either one since they're both parallel arrays in the same length. And so dot count gives you the size of the array, how many elements are in it. And then this one here displays the information in the individual cells. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to grab these three methods right there. And I'm gonna, as always, I'll provide this code for you. And we'll just put that at the bottom here, right before our end of our class. I always like to mark that end of the class. So right in there, we've got to make sure we're in the class. Put that in there, OK? Um, this is stuff we may or may not use later. Um, I probably won't even include this in there. This is just to make sure it was working. I always like to print out uh, to make sure things are working. But this line here is the important one where we're actually displaying in the individual cell the name of the city. So we're getting the name of the city. This here um, is passed to this method, indexpath.row, so we know which individual cell that we're in. Um, and then the detail, the part that's over at the right, is going to be the inches. And so that is um, displayed by detail text label as opposed to just the text label that's over to the left. Okay, um, hopefully that is, makes sense to you guys. Um, so the last thing we need to do though, so if I was to run this, it still wouldn't show anything because uh, initially there's nothing in those arrays and the, the program doesn't know to say, hey, um, now there is something in the arrays after we have downloaded it from the web. So we actually need to add this little bit of code right here and I'll explain it to you when I put it in. And I'm going to put that in right, um, right kind of below where we were adding the values to the arrays. Right. Uh, actually, I'm going to go outside of that for loop, though, because that's the outside of the for loop. And so right here. Um, so this happens asynchronously. And so it happens after the page loads. So you need this little method to say, hey, after this asynchronous act occurs, let's reload the table view. So that's what happens there. Um, so let's let's test this out. This should um, should work for us. Yeah, six. Go ahead and hit run. There we go. It's the city and state and the inches looks very nice and neat. Kind of scroll down, see the rest of them. Um, we could have made this larger as well. So that's good. I hope you find it useful. Um, anytime you have data and you want to display it, you typically want to use a table. Um, so this is good to know how to do. All right, so next one, I'm going to show you how to now store this data in a core data database and then recall it and maybe show it um, in a different order. Maybe we'll show it in descending order or ascending order um, uh, based upon your preference so that the data is more meaningful since it's in an order. All right, thanks. I hope you enjoyed that.